Rumor season in the NFL has already begun. What is going on, y'all? Fast Sports Talk back at it with another video talking, of course, some NFL in here to talk about a certain player that the Bears could potentially or maybe should potentially go after. Before I do so, if you're new to the channel, guys, welcome. Make sure to go ahead and subscribe by hitting the big red subscribe button down below, folks. There's a lot of content coming out that I'm producing every single week. I put out videos for you guys so you guys are uh, obviously, I love it when you guys subscribe and support the channel. It really helps me out a lot. So go ahead and do so by hitting the big red subscribe button and make sure to go ahead and turn on the bell icon to be notified every time I drop a new video. And please, guys, make sure to go ahead and follow me on my social media links down below and on the screen for my Twitter, my Instagram. You guys can reach out to me, ask questions, whatever it is you need from me. I'm here for you guys trying to hit 10K on the channel, 1K on social media. So go ahead and do so. With that being said, here's the quick rumor it's about Eric Ebron and whether or not the Chicago Bears should pursue him in in free agency because the Colts have officially said they're not going to bring Eric Ebron back and so he is going to hit the free agent market and I'm here to talk about whether or not the Bears should pursue Eric Ebron so obviously uh the Bears if you break them down from a very high level perspective there are a lot of needs on the team for sure. Obviously, after a disappointing 8-8 eight eight year, coming off a 12-4 and four season, obviously the Bears rest. But if you were to point out, there's really two positions of clear, clear needs that anybody, even the casual fan, who maybe doesn't even pay attention to the Bears team, could tell. Uh, keeping the quarterback question of that position aside, which we all know is going to be a big topic, which I will absolutely address with Mitchell Trubisky and what the Bears should do at the quarterback position. The other two clear needs are tight end and offensive line. Okay, so both were abysmal positions for the Chicago Bears in which they got very little to no production from throughout the entire season. So let's talk about tight end specifically. We know the Bears need to address tight end in free agency. Oh, it is an absolute must. I, I mean, it is a must. They need to bring in a tight end this season for sure. Because like I said, Trey Burton was hurt all season. For the most part, it's been a colossal bust as a free agent signing. Our backup tight end, Adam Shaheen, he's been a colossal bust as a draft pick. Okay. And then behind him, you had a bunch of practice squad guys in, in J.P. Holtz and Jesper Horstead who you really can't count on moving forward. I mean, they had their moments, but you can't move forward with those guys as your only options on the roster at tight end. So where does that lead me to? Leads me to Eric Ebron, who is going to hit the free agent market, okay? Because this we know for a fact, okay? There are tight ends out there that I'm going to be talking about that I believe the Bears could and should potentially pursue. But we don't know if those teams are going to lock those guys up, sign them to an extension, or, you know, bring them back. Eric Ebron... Yeah, Colts GM came out and basically said that they're not going to bring him back. Eric Ebron even tweeted out, like, you know, a picture of him throwing up the peace sign, talking about, you know, he's done in Indy. And so now the question begs, is Eric Ebron worth it for the Chicago Bears to pursue? And initially when I saw this and when I obviously heard about the Colts not bringing back Eric Ebron, I was like, oh my goodness, Eric Ebron would be a complete upgrade over everybody on the Bears roster for sure. I mean, this is a guy this year, he was absolutely hurt. So it's it's not fair to judge him as much. Uh, but last year, in his uh, uh, last season, uh, full season, 16 games played, he, he had 13 touchdowns. So he, that was ridiculous. 13 touchdowns for Eric Ebron, 66 catches for 750 yards. But obviously, uh, the number that sticks out is the 13 touchdowns. This year, obviously, uh, just eight games, 31 catches for uh, 375 yards. Okay, so obviously a big drop off, but he did not play in as many games. So on the surface, I'm like, okay, Eric E. Brown's an upgrade, a big playmaker, 6'6", tight end in the middle of the field that Mitchell Trubisky can throw to. I think the Bears should pursue him. But then when I took a step back and I really analyzed it, a couple of red flags are popping up for me, okay? One, if he's so good, why are the Colts letting him go? Simple as that, right? Because the Colts have a lot of salary you have space. They can absolutely afford him. Why are they letting him go? Now, you might be like, Fives, they got Jack Doyle. They don't need him. But, I mean, if 
you have good players, you don't want to let them go, even if you have a luxury at that position, right? So that to me was the biggest red flag right away. Number two, the Bears don't have a lot of salary cap space, okay? We've got about 10 to 16 million, approximately somewhere around there. Now we just signed Eddie Jackson to a very well-deserved big contract extension. Uh, we need to sign Allen Robinson to a contract extension. There's guys that need to be paid. So even after all that, there's not going to be a lot of money left over for us to splurge in free agency. So what does that mean? You have to be very careful allocating those resources in salary cap, making sure that you're not spending it on the wrong folks. Okay, so Eric Ebron, I don't want to overpay, even if the Bears are interested. So that's point number two. And the point number three, you take a hard look at his numbers. Again, what's been the biggest issue with Eric Ebron his entire career? Drops. Eric Ebron has shown the tendency to have brick hands. I mean, he has dropped a lot of passes last year. Nine drops this year, five drops. So it's an issue for Eric Ebron. Yes, can he be dynamic? Yes. Does he have the talent? to absolutely be a monster in the red zone, which is something the Bears absolutely lack. Yes, but he tends to drop the ball. Absolutely. So that is a drawback. And then, like I said, injuries. Okay, it's not anyone's fault, but it's a reality of the situation. Our starting tight end was injured pretty much the entire season, Trey Burton. So you want to sign another injury-prone guy in Eric Ebron. I don't know if... Obviously, that would be the best idea. So we take a look at all of these things now. Drops, injuries, uh, why won't the Colts bring him back? And I'm kind of getting a little sour on it. So here's where I'm at. Eric Ebron, to me, is a good backup, third, fourth, fifth option in free agency. But there are plenty of other guys I am much more interested in. Want to know who? Austin Hooper, and Hunter Henry. Okay, both set, set to hit free agency. Like I said, their teams could extend them. We don't know that yet. But if they hit the open market, I want to go after Austin Hooper, number one. I want to go after Hunter Henry, number two. Or you can flip-flop them. I don't mind either. Both are fantastic. But Hunter Henry is a little bit more injury-prone than Austin Hooper is. Those are much better tight ends than Eric Ebron. They don't drop the football as much. They are, to me, just pure better football players uh austin hooper certainly had a fantastic year hunter henry had a great year i had him fantasy and, and so i i know how well hunter henry played this year so both guys would be much better fit and much better players for the Bears. so to me where i stand is i want to go after those guys first and then if we strike out fine we can consider bringing in eric ebron but at the end of the day to me, whatever tight end we bring, he needs to have one trait that I absolutely need. One trait. That is reliable. Okay? For me, I need my tight end to be the security blanket for the quarterback. Okay? So the issue with drops is a big one because I can't have you be considered reliable if you drop the football. Okay? So I need that tight end to be reliable, okay? Eric Ebron has had good seasons, but he drops the football a lot. So again, not the worst option in the world, but certainly not the first option, not even close. And I don't want to overpay, and I'd rather go after those other guys. So like I said, that's where I'm at with Eric Ebron and whether or not I feel like the Bears should pursue him. Let me know where you guys are. Leave a comment down below. How do you feel about Eric Ebron? Should the Bears pursue, pursue him in free agency? Would he solve their tight end problems just by himself? I don't believe he would. Just because, I, again, the drops, I don't believe is reliable. Uh, the Colts don't want him back. Again, let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment down below if you agree with me or disagree, as always. Thanks for watching.